Hey there everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian, this is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And on this episode of 3B TV, we're going to talk about cooking a pig heart. That's right, my family's out of town today. Uh, actually this week they're out of town. And so this is an opportunity for me to try a recipe that otherwise I probably wouldn't try um, because I don't think they would eat it. So this recipe is coming from Yellow Birch Hobby Farm and I will link to it in the description below. And um, it's uh, a recipe that's going to require the uh, heart to marinate uh, in the fridge for about 24 hours. So what we're going to be doing, it won't be quite 24 hours because it is kind of late at night as I'm filming this. Um, but what we're going to do is uh, cut up the heart. We're going to uh, then put some herbs and spices, put it all in this Ziploc bag and um, put it in the fridge and uh, let it marinate and get those um, flavors drawn through. So we're going to uh, be again, like I said, uh, we've got this heart right here. Um, and uh, this here is the one from the barrel. The two little hearts are the ones um, that came from the two little borlets uh, and just so you can see them um, and so we'll be uh, cutting those up here in a second we also have some garlic cloves that we'll be mincing up um, this calls for some olive oil uh, some black pepper and some salt uh, let's see here what else um, some garlic powder it calls for fresh parsley and thyme but we're going to use dried parsley and thyme um, it also calls for some onion powder, and uh, I may throw a little bit of Italian seasoning in there. I don't know. We'll see, even though the recipe doesn't call for it. So um, the, uh, the recipe here, the first thing it says to do is to go ahead and to uh, cut up the heart into chunks. And uh, so we'll go ahead and do that, and I'll try to make sure that um, I'm doing this in a way where you can see this. But uh, we'll just cut it right down the middle here. And uh, so cut it open. It says that there's some connective tissue on the inside that you may want to cut out. And there it is right there. So let's go ahead and cut that out. Like that. Put that off to the side. A little bit more over here. We'll cut off. And. Uh, Let's see maybe some over on this side here I'll cut that out um, probably not using the right knife for the job I probably should have a big old um, butcher knife here but uh, I don't so and it just says to cut it up into one inch cube so that's what we're going to do here um, and uh, maybe I'll cut some of this if this is cartilage here off of there see if I can get a hold of that it's a little bit of fat eh, maybe we'll just leave that so one inch cubes it says so something about like that that's probably good um, so something like that and like that maybe like that so I know for many people, um, the thought of uh, eating heart is kind of maybe a little bit on the gross side, um, and I understand that. In our culture, um, we've kind of gotten away from um, using all of the parts of the pig, so to speak. And one of the things I want to make sure we're doing here um, on our farm is I want to make sure that we're not wasting anything. Um, but I also realize that um, maybe, you know, we're not going to like everything either. Um, you know, so it, it's a matter of just trying things, trying to understand what we like. And um, so I'm going to give this a whirl and uh, see if I like it. And then uh, maybe someday I'll get brave enough to make it for my wife and son and uh, see if they will try it. Um, I had heart, I believe, uh, a long, long time ago as a, uh, as a child. Um, I believe my mom and dad cooked heart, but I don't remember whether or not it was pork heart or beef heart. 
Um, I should ask my mom. But uh, I have not had heart that I recall in a long time. Um, pig heart or beef heart. Now, I absolutely love chicken heart. Um, some of you may know that um, my mom and dad were missionaries and uh, I spent the bulk of my teenage years in Brazil and uh, one of the things that um, Brazil is famous for are its uh, churrascarias um, or hojizus depending on where you're coming from that they may call it a hojizu um, but one of the things that uh, they're kind of known for uh, at those restaurants is to have chicken hearts on a spit and I absolutely love chicken hearts so um, I'm imagining that uh, this will be somewhat similar in texture when cooked up um, but I don't know that and uh, obviously I don't know flavor wise what to expect um, because even if I had had this as a child um, a lot of years ago and uh, so I don't really remember it but I'm excited to try it um, I am rather adventurous when it comes to uh, the foods that I eat or that I'm willing to try and I think maybe part of that is because I was or I am the son of a missionary and uh, there comes a point in time to where you have to learn to like uh, things or learn to try things that you're not familiar with because you can't get the things that you're familiar with um, there in the country where you're living so we've got the uh, heart all um, chopped up here I'm gonna rinse my hands I'll be right back all right, so this recipe calls uh, again for us to uh, take and put some herbs and spices and so forth into this bag. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the um, the heart into the baggie here that I've chopped up, and uh, so we're going to now add some olive oil and um, some garlic. And uh, so let's go ahead and add those things. I'm going to rinse my hands again. So the first thing it says to add is uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. Now I couldn't find my tablespoons. I'm not sure where they're at. Um, and again, my wife being out of town, she's the one who normally would be able to tell me exactly where those things are. But I'm also smart enough to know that two teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Very nice words, but happens to be wrong. 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 So, four teaspoons should equal two tablespoons, right? Very nice words, but happens to be wrong. 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 That should be it. So, there we go. So we've added our olive oil. We're going to go ahead and use our garlic press. Uh, I love a garlic press, by the way. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and press this garlic into here. So I like to do that instead of mincing it up on the um, on the uh, cutting board. This I like much better. So I'm going to do two cloves of garlic here. I love the smell of fresh minced garlic. Actually, actually, I'll just go ahead and the other thing that's really nice about doing this is it does keep your hands from getting all garlicky. All right, so let's see here. It calls for a sprig of thyme, and I did some research into a fresh sprig of thyme, and they said that um, a, about a half a teaspoon of dry thyme is going to equal a sprig, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a half a teaspoon of dry thyme. Uh, same thing for the parsley, we're gonna do a half 
a teaspoon of the dried parsley. And let's see here, it says a half a teaspoon of onion powder. So where is my onion powder? Where did I put it? I had it out here. Here's my onion powder. So a half teaspoon of my onion powder. And a half teaspoon of garlic powder. got that in there and now let's see here a half teaspoon of salt so I'm just going to use regular old Morton well uh, the Hannaford version of Morton's table salt so about a half teaspoon of that and then a quarter teaspoon of black pepper so get that and there's my quarter teaspoon of that. So let's see, let's make sure we've got our olive oil, we've got our garlic, we've got our thyme, we've got our parsley, we've got our onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. And so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of seal this up here a little bit and shake it around and make sure that this all gets nice and coated. And work it around here inside this bag. So try to get that all nice and coated into this. And so that's it. There we go. So we have got our heart cut up. We have got the um, herbs and spices in there. So I am going to go ahead and put this in the fridge and let it marinate uh, until tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we will be back. We will go ahead and cook this up and then I will let you know what I think. And I probably will have a backup plan as well. I've got some sausage in the freezer. In case this doesn't go too well I can grab one of those American guinea hog sausages and fry that puppy up and we'll still be in business. So. Uh, stand by and we will be back tomorrow night and uh, we'll get this cooking and we'll see what we think. Catch you later. All right, so we're back. Uh, we've been marinating this pig heart for about 24 hours and so excited. I've been waiting for this all day. So um, excited to try this out. So what we're going to do is we are going to heat up about a tablespoon of olive oil in a cast iron pan. And uh, so I've already started that. We've got it um, over some medium heat here. And so we will um, get that smoking. And then we are going to dump this in. The instructions say to uh, bring one tablespoon of olive oil to smoking, then dump the diced heart and all of the marinated goodness into the pan. Add three tablespoons of butter. Mix everything around real good. Cook for approximately 7 to 10 minutes, uh, stirring frequently and scraping the bottom of the pan as you do. And as soon as things look nicely browned, cut each chunk in half. And uh, so that's what we are about to do. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, get to cooking. All right, so things are looking good. It's really starting to smoke up a little bit here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump this into this oil. Oh, listen to that sizzle. Woo! Mmm. Oh, yeah. Already that smells good. All right, so we'll turn this down just a hair bit. And, mm. So, three tablespoons of approximately of butter on in there and uh, so we'll get that oh all oh, this smells good folks so those of you who uh, follow our Facebook page um, I posted a picture today of the uh, package of meat and uh, sort of had a little fun people did a little guessing as far as what I was having for dinner tonight and eventually my father-in-law guessed correctly 
but he did have a little bit of help. My wife is down there visiting, and uh, so he um, she kind of uh, helped him out there a little bit. So let's see if he can. Oops, don't wanna. Grab a little knife here, a little fork in a little bit. Let's cut this butter up just a little bit so it'll melt a little bit faster. Mm. So it's set about seven to ten minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and Hopefully the fan isn't uh, drowning me out too badly. Um, I like to run the fan because uh, if I don't, my smoke alarm goes off. So we don't want to set off the smoke alarm here. Um, oh, this is smelling good, folks. So we're going to go ahead and let this brown up real good and uh, we'll be back in a little bit to uh, show you um, kind of where we're at and uh, then I'm going to try this out on camera and you are going to get to see what I think. Now I do have a backup plan. I have a couple of sausages left over from the other night that uh, I will pull out of the freezer if this doesn't... Um, well, if it's not very appetizing, but I can tell you right now, based on the uh, flavor or the scents, uh, I think the flavors are going to be great, and uh, so very excited to try this out. So we'll be back in just a little bit. All right, so I've gone ahead, I've cut all of the meat up um, into uh, uh, smaller pieces, as it said. Everything looks really, really good. So I am going to uh, go ahead and pull this off the, uh, the heat here and uh, plate it up and uh, then we're going to try out some pig heart tonight. Smells great. I wish I had smell-o-vision. Um, you would be blown away by how great this smells. And so if it tastes anywhere near as good as it smells, this is going to be a winner winner pig heart dinner. So let's check it out. Alright, I am so excited to try this out. So, uh, let's see what we've got here. Father, thank you for this day and for this food. Amen. All right. The moment of truth, folks. The moment of truth. Mmm, that's really good. It's definitely um, it's definitely a little bit more on the chewy side um, I'm trying to think of the consistency if you're familiar at all with um gizzard this has the uh, consistency I think man that's good. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. It, it's got a consistency, maybe not quite as chewy as gizzard, not quite as mushy as liver. The flavor, I would say, Definitely leans a little bit more towards the um, the liver side than um, definitely a little bit more towards kind of that earthy um, flavor that I think liver is known for, but without the bitterness um, that at least cow liver is known for. Um, I really, really like it. So this for me is a winner. Um, I really think that if, if somebody didn't know um, 
Mm. That's really good. If somebody could get beyond the heart thing um, and didn't have that in the back of their minds, um, I think that uh, this this would be a, a huge um, success. But uh, for a lot of people, getting uh, past the idea that you're eating organ meat is a little tough. It's just a cultural thing, I think. And um, I'm glad I tried it for sure. Um, I will be saving every heart from um, every pig that we butcher. And uh, even if Bonnie and Brian J don't like it, even if they don't enjoy it, uh, I, this is definitely winner, winner, pig heart dinner to me. So, so I hope you've really enjoyed this. I've enjoyed putting this together. I've enjoyed making this meal. I'm, I'm going to shut up and eat my supper. Uh, I will link to the recipe in the description below. And so if you're interested in trying pig heart, um, for sure, I would recommend it. And if you've enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe. Uh, tell other people about our channel, folks. We're really trying to grow this. And uh, so if you could share it, um, we would really appreciate it. If you didn't like this, well, let me know. Um, I want to get better at this. I'm trying to get better at this. And uh, so I, uh, I hope that you've at least found this informative even if maybe eating the, the idea of eating pig heart grosses you out a little bit but uh until next time everybody uh enjoy and again please like share and uh subscribe I'm gonna do